Please rise with the Pledge of Allegiance. Who will the Pledge of Allegiance? 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 Who it's a motion by Trustee Shipley, supported by Trustee Norfolk, to put the agenda all in favor of the process. Vote and turn the motion carried. We no presentation this evening. Now is the time for public comment on anything that's on tonight's agenda that's not already scheduled for public hearing. So that would include uh, a scheduling amendment possibility to the or subcommittee policy, and also the um, initial review of, a, of an ordinance about Jake Briggs. Sir, Scott Paul on the phone of Sunday lunch. Um, I'm here about the noise issue. Um, for the past several years, I had issues with the township and the enforcement of noise with the dumpster being connected by the grounds, which is a uh, commercial property that's not property. So, anyway, um, it took several years for any action to really be done. I don't know if any citations ever got. Sent or uh, to the various places. I don't want to be empty day over between 4 30 a.m. and 6 a.m. where by these ordinances there's supposed to be nothing before 7 a.m. Um, also, looking through this new ordinance, I see there's lots of specific decibel levels in there. Who's going to enforce this? Is there any type of decibel meter that the township has? That's going to do the sheriff's deputies. So, Keep that in their in their vehicles. Um, I don't know if anyone talked with the sheriff's department um, in regards to enforcement. I don't presume that uh, Madison Jacobi's going to be out there enforcing any Jake breaks or these noise ordinances because it's not just for the Jake break, it's also for exhaust fumes or exhaust fumes, you know, it's from both and supported by the scan. Um, also, 264-5. The complaints by a resident or property owner in the township regarding any violations of this chapter shall be filed with the township manager for a user of the Complaints may be investigated after two complaints for the same violation on the same date are filed from residents who reside in their households. So, do you hear yes or no? Or otherwise, or is it just sort of a blanket? Anyone get some of us in the world using the J frame? Or do they have to get? Do residents have to call put out the same truck the same day at the same time? You know, before you guys just change this, there's other aspects of this law. Also, I know the, the fine and violation is for municipal civil infraction tickets. Do you guys have those? I don't know the time. The sheriff's department jobs are all with municipal civil infraction citations. That's the eight right there of this township. I don't know when I used to when I was a police officer in Lowell, we actually had specific municipal civil protection citations that had to go to the city hall, not to the court. So just other things to consider and talk about. Um, but other than that, I'm all for the J breaks. Or not having the J breaks, I love them extremely loud. And just we have to have, you guys also have signage at every access point coming into the township. And from what again, what we did in full for there's no parking, uh, 30 seconds overnight parking between certain hours of the day, and every access, every entrance to the city, there was a sign. So, you know, it was just a thing to consider. And I know, like, in there, just said you guys are out of the signs up, I don't just get to in the area proper, but thank you. Thank you. 
we should be able to handle at least talk about a lot of those issues that you raised to get to that agenda item. Last call for public comments on anything on tonight's agenda. Okay. Article 6, approval of the consent agenda. Motion and discussion. Motion to approve. Sure, so, motion by Trustee Castle, supported by Trustee Shipley, to approve the consent agenda. All in favor? Aye. Right. Opposed? Motion carried. Article 7, financial actions, specifically invoices set to be paid on January 25th of this year. Motion or discussion? There was this one large item for $228,000 in the associates. Um, what, what was that for? Fire station. So last payment until we go or no, there'll be one more and it's from four hundred. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve the financials. So motion by Trustee Kessel, supported by Treasurer Corstan to approve Article 7 of financial actions. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Article 9, new business. First item 004, 2024. Update to Township Committee policy. Uh, as, noted, as noted in the memorandum that's contained in everyone's packet, the discussions between the IH Smith and the board officers, uh, it was suggested that the subcommittee policy be amended to state that the committee meetings will be held as necessary, but at a minimum biannually, rather than the stated current monthly requirement. This change would not in any way preclude any of our subcommittees from meeting when there is relevant business. It enhances efficiency while also maintaining, maintaining transparency. Manager Smith, do you have any additional comments before we get into board discussion? No, just um, it, like you said, it came up in our meeting with the officers, um, the quick treasurer and supervisor. Um, and just to make everybody's life a little bit easier, we're all inundated with meetings and can find all the information to come up um, that we can call them. This program. Minimum. Oh, yeah. So the minimum twice a year. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this came up in the Thornapple uh, special session district uh, back in November, I believe. And we we identified that here we are doing our thumbs because we didn't have anything to talk about, and so we kind of started ball rolling with saying. Why don't we do it every other month with the ability if something comes up to call a special meeting? So I'm all in favor of this. It just makes sense. It's uh, a saving time for us to focus on other things instead of driving down here, putting our thumbs and saying, Hi, Scott, how are you today? And then, oh, oh. not the word we're twisting our thumbs, but. <laughs> I think it's a good change um, instead of sitting around on a meeting when there's business for the committee or at least by end of the So I think we're going to adopt the policy. Do you have any support? Any further discussion? So, motion by Trustee Kessel, supported by Trustee Shipley, to update the Township Committee policy as stated. Since this is an amendment to a policy existing for later, I hope we can go all fall. Trustee Shipley. Yes. Trustee Kessel. Yes. Trustee Morrison. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee Morgan. Yes. Later. Yes. Superintendent. Yes. Motion carried. I have 005 2024. Consider approval of first read of order to chapter 264 amendment. Manager Smith? No. Yes, so um, on my arrival, it was um, directed to look into the Jake Brink issue, which I think is a long standing issue here in the township. So, working with our legal counsel, came up with the attached adjustment amendments to the ordinance uh, 
number 264. Specifically, the, agenda, the amendments will be to 264-3, I'm sorry, 264-2 um, of that particular ordinance. This is just the first reading, so if there's any sort of changes, question, concern, we do have an opportunity to amend that at the final reading adoption, which will be at the next to um, municipal civil infractions. If we do those, I will verify with the attorney that that is the case. And then in regards to the enforcement of this, this mirrors state law. We cannot trump state law, but this actually mirrors the uh, code from the state that is now being implemented to our ordinance. And we have approved with the sheriff's office in regards to this. Enforcement is going to be tough, I will tell you. This is it's all about if you see it, um, and enforcement at that time. But at least we have the teeth on the books now when the occasion does arise that we can actually use. And that's simple. I just think, in regards to your comments, I think that we have heard from many residents that are frustrated with this. And I think that um, other needs to have a And I think being <coughs> as most of the violators have CDL licenses that they are cherished by those people that that is their livelihood. Um, once we get this and are able to potentially go time, I think that we will see them abiding by this new ordinance because that is their life. And I think the, the possibility of having a ticket from that is something that we wouldn't want, even if it is just so. Um, and I think the other municipalities that have put into a similar ordinance have had um, compliance with it. And I think that was the goal with this. Our goal is not to go out and have officers or somebody township enforce in the township. I think our goal with this was we had heard from residents' complaints, valid complaints. I think we took action on those complaints to come up with a solution, and I think we're doing the best we can. So I think that's where this comes from. Well, the Sheriff's Department enforce this if we get a complaint, would they issue the civil infraction or will we? They will. Again, it's all about timing and, you know, catching that at that time if it's actually occurring. Um, I have talked to the Township attorney in regards to also trucks routes throughout the township, which we have not really dealt with that yet because we can't prohibit trucks in the township too much. Is that up to the county road commission? That is not up to the county road commission, that's up to the township. It's just a bit There's some more options for us if you want to take into consideration. But that's a little bigger project because they can't identify the locations. And it does get a little bit tricky because you have to make sure. But this summer when the express was closed down, the people on the store and river driving test eight just were inundated with the excavating the traffic excavator. I think the emergency route was cascading street or cascading all the way to 96. Did we already have a, uh, any further comments? Session. I'll move to approve that first reading of the ordinance amendment. Right. So, motion by Trustee McDonald, supported by Treasurer Corsage, to approve the first reading of the ordinance amendment to Chapter 264, no violations. First, later, please call the roll. Trustee Norco? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Yes. Trustee Corsage? Yes. Trustee Castle? Yes. Trustee Shepherd? Yes. Later? Yes. Mr. Pricer? Yes. Motion yes. carried. Article 11, public comments. Now is the time to welcome any comments, whether uh, the issues are on site's agenda or not. Is there anyone who changed comment virtually? No. Okay. Article 12, manager comments. Um, I just have uh, a couple of items that actually Deputy Clerk has asked me to um, 
So the duration I had is the election is coming up. Um, I'm February 27th, this is the presidential primary. It's been very busy at Township Hall with all uh, the election activity. Um, I believe you've gone through all your accuracy tests and going through the protocol uh, that was happening right before this meeting tonight. So, um, the first off, it's very busy. So, we want to encourage everybody to come out and vote. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Board comments. I've always uh, been there as a coming down. I always like, you should bring it up. Scott, thank you for all your comments. I appreciate it. And it's nice to see our Charleston County Commissioner here. And I asked him a couple questions before the meeting. He said, so he was trying to those issues. So, once again, the plans of being here, take it up longer next time, John Crystal. I have to comment. Um, I don't usually, I don't know how many of you know or how many. It was about a week or so ago, and Claude was on our county commission for many years, and in his life, in his life's memory, dedicated. Children's Park and Burnett Hall Park. And um, also, the aquarium that is in the right now. So, I don't know what would be appropriate at some time, but you know, I think, but not only serve the township, but he put his money in the township. So, maybe there was something in the future we could do, but we didn't see it. So I passed away, and he was a really big guy and very dedicated servant. So I wanted to hear that you know. Thank you. He was a true citizen of the town of and he acted in, in good faith for all the residents. Sad passing. He was a uh, servant of the county. Many years even before that. Thank you. Any further comments? Motion. Your push support to move to the room. The motion by Trustee McDonald, supported by Trustee Shipley, to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion.